you're looking to improve your aim, then make sure to check out Control Freak and use the code OGXRACE to get 10% off all the products. Link in the description below. Yo guys, what's up? It's Xray. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 4 video. So I've uploaded a couple of videos already in case you guys missed it. We had some pretty huge leaks last night. I made a video talking about two gameplays that were leaked for Black Ops 4, one for Blood of the Dead, the other for Voyage of Despair. I went in depth on what was in the gameplay, what was new, what was seen. I tried to be as descriptive as I could. So check out that video in case you guys missed it. Uh, it was uploaded earlier last night. And then before that one, I made a video talking about classified because we did get our very first teaser image and it had a ton of stuff hidden in it and i did a thorough breakdown of that guy so if you want to check out either of those videos check them out on the channel i'll also have a link down in the description below now in this video it's going to be one coming from an official fountain of source of information which is treyarch themselves they tweeted out a teaser for nuketown for black ops 4 which i'm just going to call nuketown 4 uh, it's a very interesting image and we're going to break it down because there's a ton of stuff going on here and it's not the same nuketown that we are used to seeing so that's the first bit the second half we'll be discussing some new leaked gameplay for nine and there was a ton of stuff it was around 20 minutes of gameplay that was leaked I obviously i'm not going to share any gameplay on here but i will describe like i did in that past video what i saw what i noticed and a you know, little stuff like that so Let's go ahead and jump into the video. If you guys do go on to enjoy the video, make sure you guys do me a huge favor and drop a like on the video. It is super appreciated and incredibly helpful. And if you are new to the channel, first video you're watching around here, if you enjoy Zombies content, Black Ops 4, Call of Duty, and Fortnite, then make sure you guys do go on to subscribe and have those notifications on by hitting that bell icon next to the subscription button so you don't miss a single upload from me. But anyways, let's go ahead and talk about first this Nuketown image. I think a lot of us are very excited for this. So this image that was shown off from Nuketown, and I'm going to go ahead Ahead and post the image here on screen for you guys to check out but it is completely different probably right off the bat you'll notice that there is a snowy setting here so obviously you guys uh, it's probably the biggest takeaway from here is the snow uh, this is not the regular setting that we've had before where it's just like a like a little tiny area that's like no snow it looks like it's very bright uh, it looks like it's just like a test facility for some kind of nuke event or a future city that we had in black ops 3 but it now it's very different it's not just a regular non-snowy setting now there's actual snow which is kind of crazy so the other thing about this image and we're going to get through to uh, the wording and everything because the way that it was worded and the image and, and the way that this was tweeted in also does about a ton but before we jump into that you guys will notice that in the far background up above the sign you'll see some trees in the background some pine trees and they're kind of covered by fog so it does look like this map will be taking place in a snowy maybe mountainous area maybe like a forest of sorts uh, this kind of takes me back to the kind of campaign they had for black ops 3 uh, which was you know for the campaign the regular one where they said you know imagine that you're in a frozen forest or whatever so it looks like maybe they're taking inspiration from that but not completely so the other thing is going to be the wording here so we have welcome to nuketown we can see that the threes are E's, so in this case, the, the, they're kind of using the letters, uh, the numbers four letters in this image. You'll notice that the N's are actually backwards. For some reason, they're backwards. And, uh, and we have a star, so we have a, a red star covering up the town part. So this kind of gives off a Russian vibe. It's very similar, even like the, uh, the way that they did the ends and everything and like the design and the, the aesthetics of it gives off a very Russian feel. And not only that, but the tweet that actually it came in, you guys will see the image on screen for that as well. This was posted by Treyarch and it was in Russian. So it was translated from Russian. You guys will see right there, it says translated from Russian by Microsoft. The actual image says, visit us again for the first time here, hashtag Nuketown. And as you guys will see in the translation, us is capitalized. And normally you don't have that in a normal sentence. You know, you have visit, and then everything else lowercase would be after that but it's capitalized both letters not just one so it's very very strange so it kind of reads as visit united states again for the first time here hashtag nuketown so again it's in russian it feels like it has a russian setting there's snow we see that the population counter is still there we have a warning just below that and uh, it's in a forest of some sort so it's not the nuketown that we are used to this is a very different different nuketown from anything we've seen before 
And I'm actually very, very excited for that. I can't wait to see what this one is like. So we've had Nuketowns in every single Treyarch Call of Duty except for World at War. And, I'm, and now they're giving us a completely different spin, which is amazing. So I'm super pumped for that. But yeah, so expect uh, in November, I believe, is when this map is going to be coming out or December. I don't remember exactly. I'll put some text on screen if I find out what day exactly or what month. But it's not coming at launch. I believe it's coming about a month after. So I think it is in November. But uh, yeah, once we get that, it looks like it's going to be very different. It's not a nuke town we're used to, not even just like a futuristic or past setting. It's literally something else, and it looks like it has some sort of Russian ties to it, and even in a frozen forest of sorts. So we'll definitely see about that. So anyways, that was the first bit here. That was official tweet stuff from Treyarch. Now let's go ahead and talk about this leaked gameplay, because there was a ton of stuff shown off in this gameplay, and it even showed off some of the menus as well. So I thought that was really cool. Like, obviously, I can't show any image or gameplay, but I will do my best to describe what I saw so it reminded me a lot of the World War II setting where you kind of have a class loadout before you jump into the map you can swap out which kind of mode you want classic you know harder or like I think it was even a realistic setting so you can actually make it super difficult for yourself but this guy was playing nine he uh, was able to pick the four perks that he wanted to use uh, that were gonna be on the map I'm a little bit bummed out it feels like they're really going out there like the fact that you have to choose your perks right then and there and not have the choice in game is, I don't know, it just feels kind of weird. I, I'm not really a big fan of that, but he was able to choose his perks. He was able to choose what he wanted for his specialist weapon. So that was also very, very interesting. He was able to choose which one he wanted. He was able to choose what kind of explosive he wanted to have. And I think there was even a sentry that you could use as opposed to a grenade, which is also pretty cool. And there was just, a, you know, the menu stuff there. He could choose from a ton of elixirs. He could choose from a ton of perks. Uh, there's a list of all of that stuff on Reddit. So if you guys are wondering what all the perks are, all the elixirs, I think I even made a video on the leaked information a little bit ago. But there was a ton. Still no jug, still no speed cola, still no double tap. So it looks like those are officially confirmed gone. But anyways, after that he jumped into the game mode and it was very interesting. He started off kind of opening through this door and into the big arena that we saw in the trailer where we have the giant crowd just kind of chanting you along. He got some kills and then he was looking around and you could see all the different god statues. It was four different statues that you could go to. And as he was playing, he was kind of opening up these areas. Two sides were available for you to open via just like a points and stuff and there was a two other doors that were unaccessible for some reason so i don't know if that's just like easter egg or something like that but he was able to really explore both of these other areas that he actually was able to open he was able to get to the mystery box he was able to get down to a bunch of different underground areas it was actually really cool uh, it's a very nice looking map from what i saw and he actually was able to complete one of these steps for the pack a punch so it has been confirmed now that in order to pack a punch on nine, you need to, uh, in what he was doing, he went to one of these areas, there was a gong. He hit the gong and it summoned one of those giant boss zombies. And uh, it looks like a gladiator, not the super crazy one, just like a big Brutus looking dude. And he showed up, he had to kill him. After he killed that guy, he dropped his head and you were able to pick up the head and place it down in that. And I'll put the screenshot from the trailer because this is exactly where he went. Uh, but he went in there, he placed the head on this spike thing and he needed three other ones. So it does look like you're going to have to go to the four different areas or the four different domains of these gods that you uh, go to to every section. You have to summon the champion, quote unquote champion of that area, which is just a giant boss zombie. And you have to kill him, pick up his head and place it down at this altar. And it eventually will have the pack a punch available for you to use. So that was really, really cool. So we had a boss zombie this guy was using a ton of elixirs and it looks like they're very easy to use i noticed that the specialist weapon recharges very quickly but it also like it's used up very quickly so it's not like in call of duty black ops 3 zombies where you had this big old giant wheel and then it would take forever to load up and then when you did load up and you used it it lasted for a long time it looks like this one kind of is one fourth the speed that it takes to fill up and then also a quarter of the time that you actually get to use it so it's like 25 percent of what it was in bo3 and i'm totally cool with that i feel like most of the time when i used my specialist in bo3 it was to get out of a pinch or something so it didn't really feel like I needed it for that long. So I'm kind of cool with that. We'll see if there's an elixir or something that allows you to extend that. But I did notice that that he didn't really use his specialist ability all that long. He actually used it in his gameplay to kill the champion of that area. And he killed him very, very quickly. And again, the specialist weapon was used up very quick. It was, it was kind of crazy. I think he used it for like 30 to 40 seconds. And then it ran out and it had to refill again. So 
a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, we'll definitely see what happens with that. I saw the different like statues where you pick up your perks. They look really cool. The aesthetics look really cool. Uh, the map just looks very nice in general. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun on 9. And there's a lot of areas. And it was actually kind of crazy seeing this. But there's areas that are very open. Like the place that you spawn into, that little gladiator arena, is very open, easy to maneuver. But there's other areas in the map where you're trying to get to different areas. Like the one place he found the mystery box. And I think he died almost twice because it was literally a small room and there was no way for him to train or outmaneuver zombies coming into that small little room. So there's a lot of very tight areas that you really don't want to get stuck in, uh, but there's also a lot of areas where you can train and be a little bit easier. And I also noticed that the game kind of makes it a little difficult for you to try to stay in one area because there was like these little vents in the ground and I saw this at multiple different areas, but there was a couple of vents that would cut you off and fire would come out from them and you would take damage from them. So if you were trying to get to one side, you had to take the long way to get to it, or you could just kind of jump through the fire and take some damage. So it looks like it's going to be like that on and off. Uh, I don't think it's targeted specifically. So if you're like one area, you'll be stuck in there for a while if it notices you're camping. I think it was just at random that it did happen, but I did notice that like I was saying some fire vents if you want to call them that were around the map and they would cut off a significant area and you would have to kind of time it right to jump past it when the fire would turn off and then turn back on so i thought it was pretty cool a lot of strategy we'll see how difficult the map is but there was a ton of stuff going on and i wanted to cover it for you guys so if there's any more news info or leaks i will have it covered here on the channel so if you guys did go on to enjoy the video if you found it very informative and helpful like i was saying do me a huge favor and drop a like on the video it is super appreciated and incredibly helpful and if you are new to the channel if you want to see even more videos like these i'm going to have a ton more call of duty black ops 4 zombies news info rumors leaks and more coming so make sure you guys are subscribed and have those notifications on so you don't miss a single upload from me if you want to support the channel directly you guys can do so by checking out my channel memberships you get access to early content exclusive videos and the special badge that shows up in all of my live streams and in the comment sections of all of my regular videos so check that out only if you are willing and able to and if you want to talk about this or anything i'm constantly talking on twitter so go ahead and give me a follow over there it's at ogx i i'll have a link down below along with links to my gaming and second channel for more content from me you guys have an awesome day take care i'm out peace